Um, I think what we've done that is different about that is to figure out um, what is the story that we should be telling to your great point, Rachel, about appropriate stories versus appropriation, and then how do we find the right influencer partners who can amplify um, our story through their stories, right? And I think that is, you know, about the strategic approach that you take to it, right, to your point, and it's threaded throughout our entire omni-channel approach. It's not just an influencer play, but we figure out the right way to have them help us tell our stories in a, a way that is authentic to, more authentic, right, than it helps when we're trying to tell that story. Um, and then the other thing that we did that I think is so interesting and it ties back to what I was saying a few minutes ago is, we also tapped into our own internal team members and employees, some of whom are also influencers and social media gurus, and we found ways to bring them into that um, strategy as well. So they're amplifying the story in a slightly different way, and in some cases, working in tandem with external influencers to bring all that to life. And I think that's something that I'm guessing a lot of the, the people in this room and, and us who are part of IGMTA could um, you know, replicate because maybe on a smaller scale than most potentially, but um, but certainly um, you know you probably got people on your teams who are really tapped in, and, and you could um, really you know leverage that um, going forward to to think about how you build um, and tell stories in an authentic way.